today we will learn about uh, babcock and wilcox boiler first we know why it is called babcock and wilcox boiler this boiler is uh, invented by george herman babcock and stephen wilcox in the year 1967 so this is called as babcock and wilcox boiler babcock and wilcox boiler is a horizontal multi tubular medium pressure externally fired stationary water tube and natural circulation boiler so water tube boilers are used extensively when pressure above 10 bar and steaming capacity more than 7000 kg per hour is required so now we will discuss the construction of babcock and wilcox boiler it consists of a steam separator drum that is mounted at the top in which water and steam placed together the one half of drum is filled with water and other half is remaining for steam so here we can see this is in one half it is the water and in other half here is the steam it is connected by uptake header and downtake header and large number of water tubes connects the uptake and downtake header the water tubes are inclined 5 to 15 degree to promote the water circulation water flows from drum to the tube through downtake header so uptake header the steam from water tube to the drum flow by uptake header and when steam flow by uptake header to the drum at the same time water flows from drum to the water tubes bound by downtake header which maintains the flow of water so here we can see water flows from drum to the water tubes through the downtake header and steam will produce from through the uptake header to towards the downtake header and these are the wall breeze deflector wall breeze deflector and below uptake header the furnace of boiler is arranged and the coal is fed to the grate through the fire door so furnace is the place where fuel burn and grate is the place where fuel is placed and ash is formed during burning that is collected in ash pit and here is the wall bridge deflector which deflect the combustion or flue gases upward so buffles are arranged across the water tubes to provide the gas passes and these are also act as the deflector basically buffles divert the flue gases so it flow more than one time through the tube and more heat is transferred so here two buffles are arranged which provide three passes of flue gases other mountings like so this is the flow of the flue gases other mountings like safety valve generally safety valves are the devices which attached to the steam drum for preventing explosion due to excess internal pressure of steam and the function of safety valve is to release the steam when pressure inside the boiler exceed the design level this is the blow of coke generally blow of coke the main function of blow of coke to empty the boiler if required and 
डिस्चार्ज द मड एंड स्केल एक्मलेटेड एट द बॉटम ऑफ द बॉयलर एंड दिस इज द मैन होल द फंक्शन ऑफ मैन होल इज टू प्रोवाइड एन ओपनिंग थ्रू विच ए मैन कैन एंटर ए बॉयलर फॉर क्लीनिंग एंड इंस्पेक्शन पर्पज एंड दिस इज द फीड वाटर इनलेट और फीड चेक वाल्व एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ फीड चेक वाल्व इज टू अलाउ द फीड वाटर अंडर प्रेशर टू पास इन टू द बॉयलर एंड टू प्रिवेंट साइमल्टेनियसली एनी वाटर एस्केपिंग बैक फ्रॉम द बॉयलर इन द इवेंट ऑफ फेलियर ऑफ द फीड पंप एंड दिस इज द स्टोव वाल्व इट इज फिटेड एट हाइएस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेल और ड्रम एंड इट्स फंक्शन इज टू कंट्रोल द फ्लो ऑफ स्टीम from boiler to the main steam pipe and shut off the steam completely when required this is pressure gauge it is used to measure the pressure of steam inside the boiler and it is fixed in front of steam boiler and this is water gauge or water level indicator it is a glass tube generally 2 in number fitted in front of boiler to indicate the level of water inside the boiler to an observer so a chimney is provided for the exit of gases and a damper is placed at the inlet of chimney to regulate draught super heater is situated upper side of the water tube and one end of super heater is connected to the drum and other end is free for process work steam flows from the drum to the super heater where it is heated by flue gases and sent for the process work so today we discuss the main components of the babcock and wilcox boiler now the some babcock and wilcox boiler the diameter of the drum generally varies from 1.22 meter to 1.83 meter and the length that varies from 6.096 to 9.144 meter size of water tube 7.62 to 10.16 meter size of super heater tube 3.84 to 5.71 meter working pressure approximate 40 bar steaming capacity 40000 kg per hour that is maximum efficiency that is only varies from 60 to 80% so today we discuss some specification and main components of the babcock wilcox boiler and this is my first video on babcock and wilcox and the working of the babcock and wilcox boiler will be discussed in second video of babcock and wilcox subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics and universe double 2 you may like and you can also share on facebook with your colleagues and friends and students and you can ask your queries by commenting and you can also give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day